Parental discretion is advised. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, the show where we talk about that big time professional wrestling tiny style. What? No. Um, I've been talking to Joe Dombrowski again. My apologies. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. And of course, I'm coming to you live from Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. Don't stop shaking your head at me, Axe Cars. Um, <laughs> but we, with my compatriots back, he's back back from his his exile from his odyssey uh he is the odysseus of the uh wrestling mayhem show he's papa lunchbox at dj lunchbox on the twitter that's right folks uh the movie oh brother where are thou was based on my life uh i am so very excited to be here let's just let's all make suits out of warm dicks and feel sexy and safe and and also very wrong oh my oh my also with us from san antonio texas Amen at Amen to please the uh, announcer down there for uh, one Inspire Pro Wrestling. Yes, I'm, I, I'm. I'm hoping to get my warm dick suit in the mail from uh, <laughs> the podcast. It hasn't come yet, um, which is why I'm extremely <laughs> late. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you broke him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come yet. Can I just bring? I know. Oh, I just got that. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. oh this is gonna be an amazing now. show absolutely amazing um and also with us from uh uh johnstown pa uh is bobby fj town i was gonna i was gonna say my uh dick suit is cold and at the dry cleaners <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> this is a what? show where we talk about wrestling, by the way. <laughs> and we also, also with talk us about dicks. Let's from, be honest. We're off the rails, everybody. Also with us from California, it's Alex Cars. You can find him at Power to the Smarks dot, uh, on Twitter. Actually, how you doing, Alex? I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to my suit coming in the mail by April 15th, so I can have my birthday suit ready. It's a long way across the country there. Uh, there oh, very nicely done. Oh, guys, it's new. Okay. It's Wrestling Mayhem Show, and we'll get to the wrestling in a moment. Check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where you subscribe to us on Twitter, YouTube, and a whole bunch of other places. There's so many different shows, like the wrap-ups, the Mayhem Minutes that I've been doing four days a week, all kinds of fun stuff going on around here. Um, the Total Divas wrap-ups, Raw, uh, the Midweek Wars with uh, with the NXT, uh, especially big big time after the uh, NXT TakeOver last week, of course. Um, um, great, great time uh, listening to those guys. And Ant- Antonio Garza the, pulling the 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 proper pronunciations of Lucha Underground. I've really, really been enjoying. You can also drop us a line uh, to 412-206-WMS0. With a, that's the hotline number. And you can let us know what you think of what's going on in pro wrestling. Or drop us a line at good times. Good times. Good times. Good times at Good show.com is the email address where we get your fan mail. You can drop us here live. Oh, oh, there it is on the chat room. Like chat Mad room. Mike is hanging out, yeah, the Riz is hanging out. Uh, Mainstream oh, Matt yeah. was hanging out there earlier. Tony Garza, Buddy Landell. Let's see, what are you doing, man? Real wheels, and of course Juggalo John joining us here. Uh, and then we like to pop that up here if you're in video uh, every week. You can join us live dot wrestling around about nine p.m. Eastern time. We're we're getting set up and then getting go. We're pretty loosey goosey on the time, but you get a little bit extra that we only release to the gold or you for to your live folks. So it's good stuff and a lot of fun here. Um, big thanks to Basic Sickness for our intro, outro themes. BasicSickness.com. He's a Pittsburgh original. Played some shows with him back in the day. And uh, he lends us his musical uh, doings. You can also support us, as we said at the top of the show, at um, Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. A lot of tears there. We're trying to build this thing up. Like I was saying, we're having some problems with the soundboard tonight. Can you help me get a soundboard? Just donate as little as a penny if you want. And you'll get a... a, a 
you'll get you'll get uh, uh, perks out of that. Um, and and we're working on new stuff all the time for you guys. And uh, we're hoping we don't have to do advertisers, you know. Although we're probably never getting rid of the free pizza. We got to be honest mm-hmm. about that. Slice, I hope will always send us free pizza for talking about Why that. Why would I will... you want to get rid of free pizza? No, but there's the other stuff like. Awkward things like flashlight, you know. Um, but I mean that you know, I'd love to do that, not have to worry about that, you know, if we can support this, you know, support these guys and 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 we can bring Eamon in from Texas and to the show every once in a while, you know. I would like that. There you go, there you go. It's it's the new get Eamon to Pittsburgh fund and then the get Alex to Pittsburgh fund and then and, and etc. Yeah. So we'll have a big mayhem reunion. Or first union, as the case may be. But but thanks to the people that do support us on there, uh, thewrestlingrevolution.com, of course, and Bo Diggity! Woo! Very appropriate with Ric Flair last night, who was going to be in Meadville, Meadville, in a few weeks at IWCWrestling.com in April. Uh, It's going to be good to see that. So let's get started. Topic one, guys! The NXT effect. We started this last night on the WWE Raw wrap up. Uh, we had uh, such a better quality Raw than we did the week before. NXT Takeover was just devastating. Listen to the Raw wrap up. Listen to the midweek uh, war for those uh, uh, initial thoughts. But this is, keeps coming up, and and now I'm kind of wishing we had Matt Carlin's on here as well. Um, but uh, you guys uh, uh, chimed in on that last night too. Uh, but but. There's been a few articles we've seen stuff about, like uh, one of the Bellas saying, "Man, we wish, kind of wish we were on NXT with that time, so we could do something as a women's division. You know, have better wrestling as a women's division. Uh, we seem to have a better show. We, uh, I think it was the TLC uh, TLC pay per view. We weren't too hot on uh, watching after seeing the last NXT Takeover special, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know." It, and and there's thoughts of the dis- dissension of of the people on the main roster, um, you know, after all they're hearing and all they're seeing with uh, NXT, you know, this should be motivating them. It's like, hey, these are guys gunning for your jobs, you know. Um, you know, what do you guys think? I kind of want to go around. And, and, and w- do you think the NXT takeover, first of all, is making us excited as wrestling fans as, holy crap, this is the future. Right. Like this could be, you know, much like we're seeing our Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose is kicking ass on the top. Right. And Dean and Daniel Bryan, like these are the next Daniel Bryans and everything. And they're not just a bunch of big guys. You know, um, I, what do you guys think of that? Eamon, I know you had some thoughts. Well, in, in that aspect, uh, it does look very promising. I think uh, especially with the level of talent they have in the next year, I think, you know, it, it's. Cliche to say, but the future does look very bright for what, you know, is to come, hopefully. Um, as far as whether or not I think the NXT has motivated the main roster, um, I don't know about that exactly. Um, I think last night we had a couple of good matches. However, I feel that was kind of a lucky case. Mm-hmm. Not, not to, you know, take away from anyone's performances, but, you know, I, I think it was just a good night. Um, I, I say that because me personally, and, and, and hopefully I can attest, other people can attest to this, I would say around the end of last year, end of 2013 into 2014, was probably some of the best times for WWE, right. uh, uh, in-ring-wise and, and just development-wise. From, I think, like December of that year till probably a little bit after WrestleMania 30, we had some amazing professional wrestling. You know, we had all the stuff with the trios, with the Shield and the Wyatts and, and Brian and Cesaro and, and even guys like John Cena and Randy Orton were having good matches. They were having exciting matches that we were interested in. Um, you know, uh, not always, obviously not everyone's, you know, has amazing you know performances all the time, but it felt much more motivated. And I was much more invested in the product because of the quality of work, because you could, we could tune into raw and we know we knew that there was going to be at least one really spectacular match. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we don't really have that anymore. And I think that that era was about right before the first ever NXT Live special. Mm-hmm. Um, and since they've been doing them, uh, they've been rising to the occasion, and they've been the talk of you know the town. And and I don't think it's motivated the people on the main roster to do any better because I feel still think a lot of their work is very stagnant and very safe. I, I think in the case of the 
the women, like uh, Brie Bella mentioned in that interview, uh, it's not, I, I do agree. I think if you gave people like the Bella Twins or Naomi or, you know, numerous others just a little bit more time, like a Summer Rae or Alicia Fox, they could do some really cool stuff. But it's just the case that they don't give their women anything. They don't give them any story, interesting stories. They don't give them really anything, you know, to work with. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's their fault. But we've seen, ma- but we see males get a predominantly good amount of time for matches on Raw sometimes, and they just don't. It, it feel, it's been feeling like the past couple of weeks that there's just people out there that are just, you know, wait, you know, playing it safe almost. And and it's kind of depressing. That that's just what I see. Mm-hmm. Well, what about you, Bobby? Um, I think that like NXT, as far as like the the their divas division, I don't consider them really divas. I consider that women's wrestling. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, they, they they go out there and they give it their all. They they are granted they are given more time. I think if the Divas on Raw would have more time, I think they would be... Like, well, last night they gave them a little bit more time, I think, to work on some stuff. Um, had some really good matches on Raw with uh, Naomi and Natalia. But yeah, their sequence, that tag team. their sequence was really good, even though it was... Yeah, yeah. Short. yeah. And I actually... Um, and I... Not to, not to interrupt, I apologize. But, that's fine. but I actually really like what they're doing with Paige and the Bella Twins. Like, it's, mm-hmm. an, it's an actual story. Oh, yeah, I, feel, yeah. I feel like the stuff they've been doing lately with them has been just – with the Divas title and, and just the story they give them has just been the same old stuff. Mm-hmm. They're, getting, they're doing something different, and I, and I appreciate that. But I think like on Raw and in and, and WWE, the Divas are kind of like an afterthought, whereas mm-hmm. NXT, they're a big focal point. They're right – usually in that spot right before the main event. Well, And I yeah. also think when you look at that, like Raw is – they've called it a variety show in the past, right? I mean mm-hmm. there was even – um, we looked at, uh, uh, I think Matt, Carlin, Matt Carlin's had on uh, from Wrestling Database, like that there was only like an hour five of wrestling in the, in, in this week's Raw for over like 10 minutes more maybe than the, the week before, I think he said. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, But it is like, again, like you have your main storylines, but then everything else is, I don't want to say filler, but it's something to be like, okay, we do this. We put this here so the people that like the chicks get to see chicks, you know, mm-hmm. not necessarily chicks wrestling um yeah. and not to use hey and, and, and you know don't use the meaning form of that but you know but i'm saying like that's kind of the consideration you know it's so in place you know it, it's a segment it's like well we gotta fill our quota to have some ladies yeah. on and you can tell by when they're talking about i was like oh as a diva i get to do, like well, if you watch Taylor mm-hmm. Diva, like as a diva we get to do these premieres we get to do this you know and they don't talk as much about the wrestling that's right? true like and I, also, think, I think oh, go ahead bobby I don't think the Divas have been a focal point since Trish versus Lita. No, no. And even that was I, just a super, super out of the, oh, God, what do we have here? Let's do yeah. something with But it. even that, but I would, I would say even there was a point where there was like the Beth Phoenixes and the Mickey mm-hmm. James and the mm-hmm. Michelle McCools where they weren't necessarily like the biggest focal point, but they were still given stuff well, and, Trish, given, and given time. Mm-hmm. They, I feel like what, like what Sorg is saying is like they kind of just give a diva a spot uh put a divas match on a show as to fill a spot or mm-hmm. like a lot of people mention like to make to do like a cool down like yeah. like that's not the reason break. yeah but or a bathroom break that's mm-hmm. like that's not the reason you should be putting women out there exactly lita and trish the main event at a raw one time mm-hmm. i mean you can't get any better than that i mean unless you're main event in pay-per-view like charlotte said this week she would like to main them in a pay-per-view in a wwe is that going to happen not with Vincent in control, I don't think. Mm-mm. So, and, and you also got to think, and this is what I think is really, really the reason when you get to that point, and you have a lot of old-minded people and 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 producers and and and, and stuff in the wrestling business. And I know this is something I know from just looking at Pittsburgh. Again, I'm kind of slipping in that indie wrestling stuff, but there's some promoters and bookers and stuff that just plain don't like women's wrestling. Yeah. Like they just will not book it or don't think it has any worth or think women shouldn't be wrestling for whatever old school mentality that is. And I think there might be a little bit of a filter of that going on. Mm-hmm. And I think you see that and I'm like, well, they're not so much wrestlers. They're more kind of show pieces that happen to happen to ring, you know. And, 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 and I feel, though, with like those comments, too, there's also a stigma of like, well, these models clearly don't want to wrestle. 
they, they just want to be whatever. But the fact that the people like the Bella Twins are speaking up and are like, hey, we would like more time. We would like to tell a story a bit. I think, I think people like them don't get the respect they deserve necessarily. No. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy the work when they're given time to work of the Bella Twins and Naomi and Summer Rae and you know Alicia Fox and people like them. And I feel like if you just gave them time, they can really rise to the occasion. Mm-hmm. The the tag match they had at uh, at Royal Rumble against Paige and Natalia was really good. Mm-hmm. Like I, I think they're people are so stuck in that st- stigma of well, these are the wrestlers and these are the models. Right. And you know, he, 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 uh, this dawned on me because we always like, oh, they're models and whatever, and they're trying to make wrestlers out of. Is that so much different? And I know the obvious physicality part of it, but is that so much different than taking the football player or somebody just with a good look, good body, bodybuilder guy, and turning them into a wrestler? Not yeah. different at all. No, it, no, it isn't. It's just like you. Oh, okay, he looks good. Let's see if he can do the pieces in the ring. And in in a, a certain look, especially a powerhouse looking person or a good looking girl, doesn't need to do all the fancy footwork in the ring to get the job done, right? Uh, it's usually the same success rate, right? You know what I mean? If you right. got to bring in a guy just because he used to be like a, a football player or someone who just because they used to be a model. You know what I mean? It's it's usually the same result when it comes to the fans. They're not necessarily interested. Or they're Goldberg. Or they're Goldberg. Or they're yeah, Goldberg. True. You know. Or they I come to wrestling. I, and be- oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I think I think Goldberg is a is an isolated incident. No. <laughs> he had well, and also uh, the right like the rare right booking from WCW, and Goldberg brought the intensity and the character for as little as he had to do. He did it mm-hmm. well, and people it didn't resonate with people. So yeah. he, he had that little something on top of the little bit he was given on a big platform, and became uh, I don't want to say he didn't deserve it, but a bigger bigger star than he than deserved to be in circumstance. So, sorry, and, I'll, I'll and, be, and going oh. so sort of going beyond the women's portion of it, uh, I think one of the reasons that I would assume that the main roster is kind of upset over this whole NXT thing isn't just the time they're given, it's the stuff they're given. Mm-hmm. I I would be kind of upset or complacent if I was kind of given the same formulaic stuff for my feuds week mm-hmm. in and week out. Right, right. We can only I, see I, so I many big this. show game matches. We can only see so <laughs> many like tag team like of two feuds. We can like this all the stuff that they always do with feuds. It, it, that gets boring. And I'm sure it's just as boring for them as it is for us. I agree with you, but I think that the, the people complaining like about, oh, they want a spot, they want to do more in-ring stuff and tell more stories like they do on NXT, I think they're overlooking something very important, Is and that is, um, yeah, they might not have as much in-ring time, but they have that full, terrible WWE marketing machine behind them pushing them, getting them to award shows, getting them on television, mm-hmm. you know, selling their merchandise. Their name is out there because mm-hmm. they have that marketing machine behind them. NXT is a different, it's a different environment altogether. You know what I mean? So you, that's fine. You want to go back down to NXT and you want to do more in ring stuff and impress people with your wrestling ability. That's fine. But you're not going to go to the award shows. You're not going to be, uh, you know, on total divas or anything like that. You're not going to have the full power of the WWE universe behind you. Or will you? I mean, we have, does. or will you? Because we have Paige on Total Divas. Paige is not in NXT. Paige is in WWE and has been for a while. Oh, no, but but she came up. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I think I misinterpreted you. Um, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying they want they want the best of both worlds. You right. know what I mean? I right. feel like they're overlooking right. the benefits that they have for being on the main roster and focusing on. Do Just we get a time. point where the people want to go to NXT? I, I fully believe NXT is going to become its own brand. I think you're, have to, I've said this on the show before. I think we will get to a point where somebody, maybe a Sami Zayn never leaves NXT, period. Not because he doesn't swing on the top level, but because that is like he could be the John Cena of the NXT brand. Because right? that's his place. Right? Yeah. I and mean, NXT. I'm sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I'm sorry. But the second part of that is maybe we get to the point where the ones that do feel maybe creatively stifled 
You know, I'm thinking, um, I, sorry, I'm so sorry, but I just watched Chef twice this weekend after everybody bugged me to watch it. And the guy was a chef at a five-star restaurant or whatever and ended up happier and and successful uh, doing a a, a Cuban sandwich truck, you know. Um, Maybe uh, the NXT is the Cuban sandwich truck where you get to actually be creatively, um, you know, open and you're stifled in the five-star restaurant that is Monday Night Raw. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe John Cena. Maybe John Cena can go down to NXT and make Cuban sandwiches. Mm. I mean, go for the title. <laughs> it might not be the worst idea. I know you. I know you're kidding, but that's not a terrible yeah. idea. Yeah. No. Lunch, lunchbox with what you were saying. Like, do you think that's a case of like how what Sorg mentioned in the beginning about how we're getting an influx of talents on NXT and, and on the main roster now as well? that are more like the independent wrestlers that are more the people that got into it because of the wrestling, like a Seth Rollins or a Dean Ambrose or whatever, and not more of the like traditional, like developmental talents, like the ones you would find in like football or, or wherever. Do you think that that mentality of, I want to be able to work in the ring and tell a story in the ring more than, Oh. Right. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I do think that 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 adds to it. They where they have that desire and that drive to, um, you know, this is this is what brought them to the dance, and they want to show off the thing that they're best at. Yeah, I I completely agree with that. Mm-hmm. Alex, we haven't heard from you for a while. What are your thoughts on this topic? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking like as far as whether or not NXT and its successes kind of motivated the rest of the main roster i don't know because you know it's like we've already been saying it's like triple h said on podcast with stone cold like nxt really is like its own brand Mm -hmm. and you really see the emphasis on what they do in nxt versus what they do on the main roster and i don't know it's like i said on the facebook group i want to say that sure they're motivated but then i see what's on raw for three hours. Um, and I, I don't know. I think about like that, the diva segment before the match. And I'm like, I see, you know, Cameron and her little cameo. And I'm thinking, here's someone who at least had some training in NXT before coming back on the, the roster. And I think she, I think it's been better since then, but when she first came back on after being down in NXT for a little while, that was the match where she tried to pin a, a woman on like her stomach or her side. <laughs> and that's, I don't know. I mean, okay. So as far as now, I think what, I think the popularity of NXT to some degree has kind of motivated the, the main roster to step their game up. But as long as they continue to do, kind of everything, what they do booking-wise, uh, and, you know, storylines and how they time their matches and all that, mm-hmm. as long as that's completely different from NXT, from what they're doing, especially with, you know, Triple H being at the helm of NXT and doing things more wrestling-based on that show versus the sports entertainment on, on Raw and SmackDown, I don't think there's really that much motivation i don't know like mm-hmm. i feel like there is some but not as much as there could be. I, I would hope that there would be motivation not necessarily from a perspective of i gotta improve my work because i want to be better than others i i also hope that there's motivation from a fact that you know people want to keep their spots mm-hmm. and, and the amount of people yeah. that are getting called up like like kevin owens is already working like wwe house shows as wow. nxt champion yeah and he's but been I mean, there for two months like Yes, that's that's a good point. Because I mean, there's other guys that have been in NXT for the longest time, and like some guys, you know, they've been in NXT, like they've been in developmental for a while, and they haven't even been on NXT the show. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you know, that's just like I don't know, because it's like we we talk all the time, you know, we really just talk all the time about these guys that are in NXT. We're like, okay we're sure that they're going to get called up any time now. And then they don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
But it's better for them that they're not getting called up. Sometimes, sometimes. It no, depends what happens. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> the flip side to that. But, but, but I can see that, that sort of real influx of talent happening. And, and I feel like wh- what happens then to, like, for, for example, you know, no matter what you think of his work now, but how long is, like, a Kofi Kingston going to last? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That when, you know, guys yeah. from NXT get called up and take his spot. And we saw it in, um, the, like, around – Nine, late 99, 2000 in the WWF, guys from WCW and ECW, the Benoits, the Guerreros, the Jerichos, you know, and then they were bringing also like more guys to focus like the Hardys and Edge and Christian were getting brought up and the guys that had been there and, and had, you know, you know, people like Val Venus and the Godfather kind of really lost their spots and, and they, they didn't have anything for them. And, and, you know, it's it. What who say who's to say that can't happen again? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think we're going to, going to be a long discussion. We're going to have a uh, please join us here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group, Google Plus, or at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Let us know your thoughts of this. Uh, we'll be sharing this through the week, and uh, you know, I, I think there's a conversation we're going to keep having and keep having after every time NXT has a special. Uh, <laughs> so, of course. Uh, in the meantime, please check out if you're, you're liking. You know, well, hey, some of these guys came from some of the stuff we're going to talk about. You can find some of these guys that we're talking about on. Um, um, pittsburghwrestling.com on indywrestling.us it's the same thing it's a little store on the little corner of sorgatronmedia.com uh, where we have a lot going on uh, go over there you'll you'll see some stuff like IWC Reloaded uh, uh, the VOW's January, January jackpot that we're giving away from last week's big question that we sent out um, you know I- I- digital downloads DVDs we have a lot going on hey um, I had a little bit of a misprint this week um, we have uh, uh, several about five copies of RWA's best of 20 2012 um that have some other show on them um so uh if uh if uh you buy dvd next pe- five people to buy dvds from the store for iwc or rwa uh from pittsburghwrestling.com you'll get an extra dvd slipped in there as well uh that's going to be the best of rwa uh 2012 with uh, friends of the show including like ryan edmonds uh jimmy nuts uh Lodi, sign guy from wcw is on there as well um so really good matches on there um i think Jason Gore and G Raver should be on there too. If not, at least G Raver is on there, from my recall. But you can check all that out, pittsburghwrestling.com. We got a lot of great stuff. Uh, matches and shows starting at 99 cents. Um, we got Best of Johnny Gargano, another friend of the show. I'm actually going to release some new interviews or some older. You can find some of the interviews on, on our YouTube channel. Uh, that we've had with him. We had, I was going through stuff last night. We've had Johnny Gargano on the show between uh, I, actually just this show. I don't think we've had him on Indie Mayhem show uh, four times. So, um, and, and two of them on location too, at, at WrestleCon and, uh, King of Trios actually with Shakara. Uh, but if you go over there, we got, uh, uh, the latest shows, of course, WCW or I, wow. IWC reloaded. Hello. Uh, including Tommy dreamer, the, the crazy night where he ends up winning the heavyweight title after his tremendous match with last week's indie mayhem show guest, Colin Delaney is also on this uh, against Tommy dreamer. Um, a lot of great stuff. Some of the best stuff in the area, uh, uprising seven from RWA, including Jason Corey, G raver. Um, Sanjay Dutt is on here. Mickey Nutt knuckles of tna fame it was a knockout for a minute she's actually uh this saturday is going to be in a a mixed tag falls count any or i'm sorry a mixed gender in what's the word intergender i'm looking for intergender I intergender uh falls count anywhere match with nick esteban taylor um it's gonna be pretty tremendous um and it's it they've been some really fun shows down there and of course vicious outcast wrestling like i mentioned also have shows on here including davy richards and rhino most recently tomosa champa is is on uh i think it was october's or or maybe uh uh, september's um shows so go check all those out pittsburghwrestling.com and support indie wrestling even more show indie wrestling Mayhem, Indie Mayhem show that we have on WrestlingMayhemShow.com as well. So let's get back to it. Um, Fastlane is this weekend. Let's get more mainstreamy on this uh, on this uh, pro wrestling podcast. Um, uh, Fastlane is this weekend. Uh, it's no longer Elimination Chamber. It's the and we make every Road to WrestleMania joke that we can in the meantime. Apparently, um, <laughs> so one of a what is our officially. Is our main event going to be Daniel Bryan, uh, Roman Reigns? That's the way it's seeming. It kind of has to be, looks, right? Yeah. Kind of has to be, I'd main, say. Main event is going to be Sting and Triple H confrontation. Oh, jeez. If they do that, this is this is Sunday Night Raw. I mean, it's it's completely. 
at that point. Um, but I, I actually, I actually really do like this card. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is the most like sort of narrowed down card that they've had as far <laughs> as you know matches go, and you know they, there's three or four matches on that card, and, and all of them seem to have a focus. Right. You know they aren't just like this is a title match, and we're just gonna put two teams together. You know it, it's you know it, it, it's like. It's it's been very planned out, I think, from mm-hmm. what I can tell. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of yeah. like a preview of WrestleMania, like a testomania. A testomania, testing everything. Really? <laughs> um, but I don't think it's going to be like similar matches or anything, and for the most part, like maybe I can see Rusev and Cena being like a blow off, and then they do something special at WrestleMania potentially. Um, and of course, uh, we all kind of think Reigns Daniel Bryan three way with Brock Lesnar going to happen. Probably. Uh, possibly. Maybe. Uh, it depends Maybe. on how they're going to go with it. I think it would, I, I don't think, I don't think doing that again will take away from the match. Um, I think it will do nothing but add to it. Uh, looking at how the three way with Seth Rollins and John Cena was at Royal Rumble was freaking tr- tremendous. And mm. I would love to see that with this configuration, um, you know, at WrestleMania could be, could be a lot of fun. And plus, we still do have the thing hanging over our heads of uh, Money in the Bank with Seth Rollins, right? Um, yeah, throw that in. Like, we had this two-step thing with Triple H and Daniel Bryan to start, and then the, three, the three-way. the Like, Seth Rollins with, the, with your suitcase could be your extra thing with the main event, right? That you have this, like, j- crazy multifaceted thing you can do with the main event now, I think is, is really interesting. So, um, are you guys back? Are you guys hearing me yet? I'm here. I'm okay. Here. We're very, we're very here. Here. You. I we caught what you said. We can't really hear you in the Hangout very well. The live feed is fine. They, they can yeah. hear you in the live okay. feed fine, but okay. you're very, very quiet to us. Okay. Well, I I'll, busted I'll, out laughing. I'll, uh... <laughs> yeah, we kind of lost it there for when you were doing the IWC pitch. <laughs> you just kept going and going. We're like, just quieter and quieter. <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> a mouse. Yeah, okay, we're working on it. This is why we need Patreon supporters so we can fix this stuff because something is going terribly wrong and I can't I figure it out. <laughs> and we need a new board so bad. Part of your way. Anyways, um, anyways, Fastlane, what, do you, what else do you guys, what other thoughts do you have on, on Fastlane here? I'm excited. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm actually really excited for Cena Rusev. I'm very nervous as well. Um, but Rusev's been one of my favorites, and I think he can do some really fun stuff in this one. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You I'm worried? Concerned. I'm concerned. I've always said that uh, Cena can rise to the level of his opponents, and Rusev is a good wrestler, but he's mm-hmm. a good, big, powerful wrestler. You know what I mean? He's not he's not much in the into the technical stuff, so you're probably just gonna have two big beefy guys punching each other a bunch. You know what I mean? That's okay. I mean I I don't mind that. I mean, you know. That's in, true. So, we, in wrestling we, and in other things. But we're we, not, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not gonna have Kane or the big show on the card. So I think yes. right, that'll well, yeah, well, that there'll be a place well, for yes, that big beef. Yes. It'll beat somebody Cam else. Were, match. It'll beat somebody they were else. Kind of fighting each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but to be to be fair, I already got the spoiler from uh, Reddit user Yankees fan too sweet. And it's gonna be Rusev that wins. Mm. Sorry, well, guys. I, I know he's a very very reputable source. That Yankees fan too sweet. Yep. Almost as reputable as Dolphin fan. I can't wait for John for a nice long John Cena U.S. title reign. That's gonna be great. Yeah. I, am I? Am I kind? I'm kind of hoping he wins. Like kinda, like because it would be such a shock. Yeah, it's gonna be making those Cuban sandwiches with the U.S. title. <laughs> <laughs> Just heat it up. Yeah. But I feel like they're. We have to take into account this. Is, this is main WWE, so pr- they'll probably like do the opposite of the. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and the match just be full of shenanigans, and Rusev <laughs> retains, but he really kind of doesn't win, and blah, 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 blah. instead of just doing a match how you should do a match, you know? Right. Do, do you guys think there'll be any clean wins? Mm-hmm. But then again, you kind of have to do a clean win if you're going to do a weird thing to set up a triple threat with Reigns, Brian, and Lesnar. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you can just have a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
just madness beginning which, to end. Which they already have a track record with. Well, yeah. they, they, they kind of did that on Raw with Dan O'Brien and, and uh, Reigns. Just yeah. that, that whole main event thing, it was awesome. <laughs> main, event was was, main event was super cool. Uh, the Roman Reigns section of the double match, though. Uh, mm. Why the fuck are we protecting Kane? <laughs> <laughs> Roman Reigns gets the win, but only by count out. Yeah, they haven't they haven't protected Kane for the like twenty years he's been in the WWE. Why start now? Yeah. We gotta make Kane look strong, damn it. We gotta make Kane look so, strong. I think Brandon's trying to point out in his column that Kane's won like three matches in the last six years. <laughs> yeah. There's, oh, there's but, no reason to make him look strong. <laughs> but he's a monster. Remember that. Anyone to you, oh, there's you're gonna be punished? Oh, we're going to punish someone by making him face Kane. That is punishment <laughs> to everyone watching. Punishment of a different sort. <laughs> uh, I just uh, noticed in our titles it says WWE Fast Lane. I can't drive nine ninety nine. That was actually that's, really uh, <laughs> that's actually from the chat room. Thank you, Matt Carlins, for that. So we're in the we're in the fast lane to WrestleMania, and the speed limit is twenty five. I just want Tiffany and Ruthie to show up. Oh yeah! I'll even settle for Bill Bellamy. Bobby, there that's a deep cut. That is a deep <laughs> cut to a shit Fox show. Yeah. <laughs> Where, what happened to that other guy? I don't even know who that, that other guy is. That's what happened to him. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's, on that bomb show. On that, let us know your <laughs> thoughts on WWE Fastly, and let us know at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Um, and of course, uh, the Facebook book, the Facebooks as well. Um, in the meantime, we'll go to a break here and see if we can sort out some of the technical issues we've been having. Um, but please check out our friends who's up next slice on Broadway. They've been, uh, hooking us up with some pizza for, for a while now. For a good bit now, right? Um, for guys and guests, we had a lot of guests uh, in here tonight with Rambling Movie Minute and the awesome cast. And they're supporting some good podcasting with some great pizza over there. Uh, so go please check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. They're here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh off the tracks here in Beachview or down in Carnegie, PA. Uh, so uh, it's great stuff from scratch. They have an abnormal obsession with pizza. We can definitely relate to that here because we have an abnormal obsession with professional wrestling. Because we've been here for over nine years, every yeah. Tuesday, doing this with people from California and Texas and all over the place. Yeah. You guys are in on it. Um, but Slice hey. on Broadway, yes, yes. Sorry, I got a quick question. What's what's that? Because uh, I know it's always been on, it's always on Mad Mike's mind every week. So what at what level of Patreon subscription? Can I have a, a slice of that slice on Broadway? Oh, that oh, my house, oh, in California. Geez. I don't know. We gotta figure out what's the postage of. I think if you're like a, uh, you know, if I did it monthly, if I did like ten dollars a month, like I think I would send, I would package and send like slices of slice on Broadway to people at that point. You know what we could do? I, I, that I think is we could beautiful. Do. You know what yeah. we could do? If our Patreon reaches a certain level, we could buy a three D printer. For slice on Broadway, and they can send pizza to different places. But I don't, we, but I don't know. Would, I don't. I'm pretty sure we would suffer a loss there from the money that was yeah. being contributed to us by Patreon. Bobby, Bobby, I don't know how. Are you proposing not some a, sort of not 3D a, pizza printer? I don't not know how 3D printer printers pizza. work, but Bobby. I think they work like time machines <laughs> and or telephone. <laughs> <laughs> all right um Hello, bobby. bobby um we uh first Thank of you, all bobby. first of all great idea but i think you need to listen to more of awesome cast uh that we okay. do in this network so you understand how 3d <laughs> printers work a little bit more i don't know how things work that's a plug but man if there's a 3d food printer you know somebody's working on it we are getting Dang. some slice on broadway pushed out there uh so thanks to them checking it out please uh, go hit them up slice on broadway on facebook pgh underscore slice on twitter and let them know the wrestling mayhem show sent you and got you hungry that's it we'll be right back with the big question this is raymond Rowe, and you are listening to the wrestling mayhem show we're back from the break big question time wrestling mayhem show things in reverse orders Lunchbox Papa, what is your question of the big? What? Uh, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, 
Today is a very special day we're recording this, and to uh, to many people it's known as Fat Tuesday. The reason it's called Fat Tuesday is because you get fat because you eat all kinds of shit because you're giving up stuff for Lent. Tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. For uh, an extended period of time, you uh, you give up something. Some For most people, it's meat or fish or something. I don't really know, but I know about the giving up part that you give up things for Lent, which leads me to this week's big question. What should WWE give up for Lent? Oh, wow. Well, to, to clarify, I am a Christian. The thing you give up for Lent has to be something you really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Like, so, like chocolate. Yeah, exactly. So, so it has to be something WWE really likes doing that they should give up for Lent. Mm. Um, well, Mike, you jumped right in. What yeah. should they give up for Lent? <laughs> I'm going to go with Triple H 20-minute promos. Okay. Okay. They should give them up for Lent because, oh, man, if last night is any indication of this thing build, it's going to suddenly up. Less is more for this build. Less is more. All right. All right. I, I'm thinking um, uh, they should give up um, burying people when they come to their hometown for a show. Uh, this includes not that it happens much more a- a- anymore. Jim Ross, I, I any diva gets near humiliated when they're in their hometown. Um, I just hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, and not even like heat hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Like let them have a glowing moment, please. Right? Um, that's me. That's me. And it's not even like usually like building towards a big blow off match. No, no, no. Like we just kind of do it to do it. it. Like it's what it feels like to me. So. That, that's mine. Uh, Alex, how about you? Alex is not... Right. Hey, Alex. There you go. Alex! 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 Sorry. Sorry. I, got, <laughs> I accidentally muted myself. That's, that's all right. Uh, I'm not ready yet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. That is completely that's fine. Good. LB, do you have one already? I do. I do have one. Thank you. Um... I think uh, what WWE should give up for Lent, just just you know, give it up for an extended period of time, see how they like it. But it is one of their favorite things: uh, breaking up tag teams. Mm. Every time they introduce a new tag team, your first thought is, "I wonder how long these guys are going to last before they turn on each other." It is inevitable, and you're seeing it with Gold and Stardust. Granted, they had a longer run than we expected, but just let them go for a while. Legion of Doom didn't break up until one of them died. <laughs> Let one of them die. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's actually not true. They did kind of break up because one was K Fame and also in real life on drugs. <clears throat> Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop breaking up tag teams. We know it's coming. As soon as the shield came out. The first thought was, well, this isn't going to last. As soon as the Rhodes Brothers started teaming, we were like, I can't wait for the inevitable Rhodes Brothers match. Just let them, ha- let them go for a long time. Maybe if the Ascension are a tag team for a decade, maybe they'll get over. <laughs> Who knows? That's how long it'll take? Uh, at least. At least. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Amen, you got to have an answer to this. I do. Um I think you should give up uh, an announced team trying to get themselves over. Yes. They I need to be like there it. to help, not to help themselves, right? You, you've had a long career, JBL. You don't need to get yourself over. Eamon, really Eamon as an announcer for uh, Big Big Wrestling Promotion, uh, in, Inspire uh, Pro down there in, in Texas, have you ever tried to get yourself over? Uh, I have not. I've att- not attempted to. Um, and and I really want to keep it that way because that's my job is to commentate on matches and get the wrestlers you know who are you know luckily hopefully selling tickets and and you know getting people attracted to the shows getting you know them over mm-hmm. that's that's what I wish they would say there you go doing. a little bit of inside inside info there in case you didn't know um, also with us on the line, uh, B- Bobby FJ Town. You're still with us from the first half, of I'm course. Still with us. I, I, I'm, it's blending together. I don't know what show I'm on. I don't know if you're still with <laughs> us. If you just Sword, joined us, you're on us. panel riot. Focus. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Spider Man, Miles Lord, Morales. You watch this week. It's crazy. Gotham. <laughs> I like it better than Mike. Bobby, what do you think about the big question? 
<laughs> um, I think they should give up Big Show and or Kane matches. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's okay when they face new people, but when they face the same person over and 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 over again, mm-hmm. it gets repetitive and tiresome. Right. Right. Of course. Uh, Kane, Kane and Daniel Bryan, Bryan can have great matches. But if we've seen it many, many times, which we have, it loses its luster. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, they should give up the cane and the big show matches. Excellent. Rizzle. Rizzle, do you have one for the big question? Uh, I'll, I'll, I, I will, again, there I am. Sorry. <laughs> I will uh, just say... That I hope that they give up what they're doing with the WWE phone app. Uh, okay. For for instance, during the Divas match, I, I believe both <laughs> Divas matches, there was who would be better in a Fifty Shades? Of, who would be better in Fifty Shades of Grey? Mm-hmm. And uh, neither. And then the other one was uh, it was brought up the big the big one that was brought up was the uh, Roman Reigns question which was uh, pretty lopsided like why do we hate Roman Reigns pretty much asking the WWE universe why do you guys hate this guy please tell us because we don't we don't get it and all of the answers were horrible yeah like because mm-hmm. Daniel Bryan's better. They're running out of ideas. They've been doing They're, this for a while. Yeah, I think they need, that's the they big need issue. Some, something to focus more on. Riz, they canceled and the not, magazine. They have to have all those writers do something. Well, then go to porn sites or something. I don't know. Whatever what? they do. <laughs> Where is Vic Venom? Vic Venom is <laughs> dead. Bobby, no. Oh, wow. Bobby, no. Wow. Um, uh, Alex Carr is from California. Power to the Smarks. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I would say having every foreign wrestler eventually become a heel that relies on their uh, country of birth. Really? Yeah. Like no, Bulgarian. Really? Quickly became Russian. Uh, Cesaro. I don't know. I, I, I think he's, you know, he's a great wrestler. And then they've... You know, they've gone from the, the Swiss heel to the wacky, ironic, uh, we the people heel when he uh, joined the Real Americans. And then uh, now we, I mean, they're not leaning on it so much now, but I mean, it's just the point of like, you know, oh, Vladimir Kozlov, when he was a thing. Mm. You guys remember that guy? Oh, yeah. Yes. I still follow him on Instagram, for, and it's the best his, thing ever. His, his build. His build as babyface was, I love double double E, which I still use as my catchphrase. And then he, it was yeah. Nikolai Volkov two point And then he disappeared, and then he debuted with no entrance music as a heel, and beat up on people and that. Then he put him with Santa. That was. Then he was. Then, yeah, then, then he turned face again. Then he that's was true. Russian comic. Then he was Russian comic relief. Mm-hmm. That's true. And Did, then he was. Remember, wow. remember when they were going to do the Santino Vladimir Kozlov uh, Beth Phoenix Beth Phoenix show? Mm-hmm. They should still days. do that. They yeah. should still do that for the network. Uh, Mike, I don't think you've gone yet, right? Yes, I did. I okay. Oh, okay. I, I think we got everybody that's. Uh, but if you no? if you want a second one, okay, you should also quit trying to make Roman Reigns look strong. Okay. He's a very big Simone. We know he's strong. Mm-hmm. All right. And of course, um, one second. Uh, um, if you want to contribute uh, w- w- uh, this week, um, uh, hashtag WMS big question. Let us know uh, what should WWE give up for Lent. Um, this week, we're actually giving away uh, RWA's best of 2013. Uh, I know twice in one show we're talking about the best of, but anyways, um, but uh, a really good show, a really good compilation that we did here uh, from uh, about a year ago. We still got to do 2014s, um, actually, uh, but uh, uh, some great stuff. Some uh, uh, friends of the show, 
uh, like Ryan Edmonds, like Shane Taylor, like uh, uh, who else is on this one? Uh, G Raver, uh, great matches, an I Quit match, some Steel Cage uh, action, and a, a great TLC tag match on here as well. Uh, so go check that out. Just hashtag big que- WS Big Question and let us know. Now, last week we had a question, um, which was, who would you have replaced Vince McMahon uh, today as, as as like the head of creative or the company? Um, however you wanted to look at that. Um, people participating this week actually get a copy of Vicious Outcast Wrestling's January Jackpot featuring Davey Richards, cur- courtesy of uh, PittsburghWrestling.com. Um, some of the contributions, uh, I believe this is Dustin, uh, Mr. DRG on Twitter. Uh, the only acceptable answer, of course, is trips. But my heart still wants to chain back. I, I think all of us do. Uh, some other back and forth here. Uh, Sir Croft Scion says, replace Vince. I'll go with Triple H for sure. After that podcast, I would love Hunter being at the helm now. And this is, of course, after the Stone Cold podcast that we were talking about. Um, we have Mad Nutter uh, 0102 <laughs> says, I'd bring Shane back. Triple H is to be uh, is to uh, uh, be molded into the same way of thinking as Vince. And with Shane not being there for so long, um, he would have some fresh ideas and input. Interesting way to look at it, you know. Uh, so thanks to all those guys for contributing, and you guys can have a part of it, too, on there, on, on the Twitters. And uh, follow the show, share the show, and uh, and have fun with it. Um, so also, hey, check it out. Another way you can support the show is uh, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS is a good place to start with that. Um, go here. We can get some great designs. We have the designer with us right now, Alex Cars, for some of these shirts, including the good times at uh, WrestlingMamShow.com, uh, the wonderful Fast Times logo that you set up there. Great stuff, Alex. So you've been helping us out for a bit, and you actually have a few more shirts that we'll, we'll mention here in coming weeks here on Spreadshirt, not just ProWrestlingTees.com. Um, a longtime contributor, designer, uh, is helping us for a bit around here at Sorgatron Media. Um, so hey, you still got the site up for your design work, right? Yes, I do. Plug away. Tell people where uh, they can find your... If, if they love these t-shirts, um, what you're doing here, where, where can people find your stuff there? All right. Your, your first destination to go is alexandercars.com. That's cars, K-A-H-R-S, alexandercars.com. And there you can find my portfolio, uh, some of the other stuff that I do, including a uh, professional audiovisual consult- consultation. Uh, and, yeah, uh you know, from there, if you're interested in sort of the more wrestling-related stuff, you can go to my wrestling site, powertothesmarks.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just, you know, hit me up on the Twitters if you need any. If you have any questions on anything, uh, love doing uh, logos and various print design and even uh, merch design, as you guys see with the the shirts. So, yeah. Awesome. Go check all that stuff. And again, uh, prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS. One thing I've been wanting to try, to try to do, because we just kind of uh, cause, yeah, oh yeah, check out all this stuff. Um, uh, I, I want to try to feature a shirt of the week that's not ours. Sorry, Alex. Um, while you're going over Pro Wrestling Tees, you know, please pick up the WMS stuff, but of course, support other people. Um, this is one that's been on there since like I first saw Pro Wrestling Tees. Uh, Goldust has this wonderful Shattered Dreams one with him as the issue is a couple on here with him as a uh, Sith Lord. Um, I thought that was a really cool design, and this is like not a WWE sanctioned one. This is him doing his own stuff, and it's his own story. So I don't think WWE gets a cut of this necessarily. Um, so if you want to support just Gold Dust and not through the WWE machine that we talked about earlier, um, you can go prowrestlingtees.com. Start with slash WMS and uh, throw some stuff in your cart there and support wrestling and podcasts and other promotions and all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're all in it together, guys. You know. Um, so from there, let's go to the fan mail. We have a couple of things that came in this week uh, from some new faces, I believe. I don't think either of these people are people that have, uh, uh, uh they, they were people who I was talking to about impact. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Nice. I told them to email in. Nice. Um, one sec. Uh, so we got, first of all, one from Derek. Um, he, uh, uh talking about NXT rivals. He says, uh, I don't know any storylines. I heard of the uh, three wrestlers from the show, but every match told a great story. I really enjoyed the NXT TakeOver. Uh, the final match with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn was epic. I'm going to start watching uh, NXT more. 
Uh, one more now. I know you stopped doing Remember When, and I never got a chance to email you mine, but remember when the heavyweight title had to be defended in 30 days? I really missed that. Anyway, keep yeah, up the great right. work. Love the Mayhem Show. Um, all, yeah, I, I, I'm with that, too. Um, it's it's weird having these shows without a a, a title match. Um, so, in another one we got here, uh, on... On NYC Beardsley, does that sound right? Is that, that one of your guys, uh, Mike? I believe so. Yeah. All right. It says, "Hey guys, it's Tony from Erie, PA. Uh, I've been thinking about some ideas for Mania and Reigns. I came up with the idea to have the Authority interfere in the main event. Oh no, I just clicked the thing and it went weird. Um, and cost Reigns the match. And the reasoning behind it uh, will have to be uh, Brian uh, be Brian for Rollins to cash in." If he would beat Lesnar, uh, have Brian win in the next night on Raw. Brian has his big celebration halfway through the show, and Lesnar comes down and starts attacking Brian. And Reigns runs down, spears Lesnar for the save. Uh, later on in the night, have Lesnar against Reigns, and have Reigns destroy Lesnar and write him off the show. At the end of the night, you have Brian in a match, and at the end, it the, the authority takes out Brian for the cash in, and Reigns helps out Brian. Uh wow, he's this goes back and forth. <laughs> Basically, he's saying that Rollins should help Brian win the belt mm-hmm. as kind of a swerve bit, only because Rollins would think that Brian would be the easiest person to cash in on, as opposed to Lesnar or Reigns. I can't see them stretching that over to a Raw. It's an interesting idea, but again, kind of like we talked about, like, well, would they really do the most predictable, unpredictable thing? No, probably not. Right? You know, you pretty much knew how WrestleMania 30 was going to end. Yeah, you know, and you wanted it to end that way, so we're we're all good. Um, but but interesting idea there. Um, so uh, thanks for that. Thanks to everybody. If you want to uh, contribute yourselves, please drop a line to Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com for the fan mail, and uh, let us know your thoughts on wrestling and some of the stuff we're talking about here. And uh, so uh, this is the time where we uh, talk about a uh, step back and talk about Impact Wrestling. With uh, one mad mic. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> this has turned into what the old indie minute used to be, it feels God, like. God yeah, damn where, where is everyone critiquing mad mic that it's not a minute? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, well, we didn't make that mistake this time. Well, I, love, I love when that happened to me every week. <laughs> I'm glad that nobody's um, been on my, my Aiden, ass about mayhem minute in the morning. That's, be, that's Aiden, because we... That's because we... Your dues. You have hey, your own that's show, we Eamon. More about indie wrestling than we do impact. There you hey, go. Eamon, you that's have it. your own show. That's right. Let others take the realm now. That's right, Mike. What, <clears throat> Mike? What's going on in Impact? What What should we care about in Impact this week? How are they doing? Oh, not much. Okay. <laughs> not much, Zorg. Um, and that concludes. Right, the- <laughs> Good job. <laughs> no, no, no. Um. Well, first of all, uh, the news hit the wire today that Samoa Joe is leaving TNA. Yay. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is great because they've supposedly filmed until April. So Samoa Joe is not leaving TNA until he leaves TNA. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, you're still going to get him for a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's necessarily a good thing, but okay. Oh. But um, great. I won't have to miss that time where he does the spot where a wrestler jumps off and he moves out of the way. It's just why he does every match. No matter oh, if it's gosh, gosh, are gonna do not. I'm going to miss it's John. He's on the Monday Night War. He could show up on Raw. I'm going to miss John. Oh, really. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Mike. We're, all, we're also going to have Samoan Joe debut the night after WrestleMania, so that should be fun. Oh, um, great. <laughs> oh, I'm so down Samoan that. Joe. No, that was his name on Velocity. But, uh, oh, basically... Right. <laughs> This that, all really uh, bums me out because legitimately Samoa Joe used to be my favorite wrestler. I named a cat after that man. Did yeah. And he was on the same up. level. He was considered on the same level as Daniel Bryan. I'm gonna yeah. say you're. He cat. used to be. <laughs> you know, I was just sitting at a Starbucks selling somebody on Samoa Joe uh, three way trip uh, uh, X division matches with Brian and uh, Dan, uh, yeah, Dan, Dan Bryan. Daniel, AJ, Christopher AJ, Daniels AJ. and AJ Styles like Chris main up. eventing pay per views back then. But yeah, that was I thought you were going to say uh, a Samoa Joe three-way triple latte. 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah. 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 I want to say that, that with. say you were selling somebody on Samoa Joe. I want to say that. I want to say that at the next Starbucks I go into just to see what happens. <laughs> like a Samoa Joe. Latte. Now, here's the question, yeah, LB. Nice. If I do that and they hand me a cup of something, should I drink it? Yes. Okay. Sorg, Absolutely. Sorg, Sorg, only if it has a lot of foam. Wait, LB. A lot of LB. foam. LB. Top of the hill. They have Samoa lattes. Oh, oh Jesus Like Christ. the cookie. You can Top get the away day. with it there. I can and completely plus, get away with plus, it there. Joe is a kind of coffee, so it's really a Samoa Joe. Welcome to Coffee Cast. He's not wrong. He's not wrong, LB. Welcome to Coffee Talk. I'm Linda Richmond. Impact Wrestling is neither impactful nor wrestling. Discuss. <laughs> and that's your impact moment for, for right now. I think that's enough, honestly. Also, uh, Mr. Anderson came back and fucked, yeah, good, good for he fucked up the only thing I liked about it. What did somebody say? They, they brought in, they, they, they filmed at least three of these pay-per-views uh, coming up. They um, or they filmed six of them. Oh jeez, I I don't. Who is this for? I, no one. I don't understand it. I really literally, don't understand it. Literally no one. I think it's for the um, international market because they still have a contract with them. Right. It, this is a yeah. We're just getting stuff out of the way and we're just doing stuff and we it's just. For heard. Gunner won a tournament. Yeah, yeah. I was Gunner like, did not win anything. It has can I, to can do. I bring up real quick? I. I about the Mr. Anderson thing, because I actually did watch that segment on Impact's YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. It's literally the most offensive thing. Oh, it, yeah. it, it's upsetting to me. It what, hurts my soul. What happened? It, not, not offensive in like a offensive way, but like as a wrestling fan, it's offensive. Because yep. uh, Ethan Carter basically is about to shave Rockstar Spud's head. Mm-hmm. The lights go out. They come back on, and Tyrus and EC3 are looking up the ramp, and Anderson is standing next to them shoulder to shoulder for a good minute. He has their like, arms. No, Eamon, he has his arms around them. He has his arms around them. Like, hey, guys, like for a good minute because he thinks it's funny. And then he kicks Tyrus in the dick. Well, see, and see, then- the thing is, Anderson did that once with Abyss, and it was very funny, and it made sense. So now he thinks he has to do it every time he comes back from an extended absence. Because he thinks he's work. hilarious. He's that guy that thinks he's, like, super funny when really you just want to punch him in the dick. And I hate Mr. Anderson <laughs> so much, and I can't believe he was considered, like, a prospect in 2007. Like, god damn it, I hate him. Yeah, because now the story has gone from the young upstart rock star Spud maybe getting a win over Ethan Carter to Mr. Anderson. He needed help from Mr. Anderson to do it, and it's not and the payoff is going to Remember when they did the same thing with uh, Eric Young, but then they randomly just decided to put Eric Young in a different storyline where he was heel? Uh, I, I, Eric Young and Bobby Roode is the feud that doesn't end again. It went for nine months or however long. Then they stopped it for a couple of years, and now it just feels like the same oh, fucking thing. Okay, wait a minute. I'm watching some of the, I have some of the YouTube running, and uh, somebody mentioned last week about the production on this, and they're doing something oh, weird oh, with the cameras. Oh, yeah, so let's talk about that. The fucking well, white balance on the cameras are off. Uh, yeah, okay, that's one thing for me at my level doing it um, and, and not doing it because they don't give me the time to do it um, and lighting issues and, and everything. But um, when you're on TV, that is inexcusable. Absolutely. All like, three cameras I'm, have different fucking lighting to them. I like I, that deep fried show they do. I am astonished at deep this. Deep fried masters is a good fucking it is. I you know again you know not that I'm not accused of I mean I have three different cameras sometimes at, at, at shows just because that's what we have they're not going they're not for me they're not going to match period they're not going yeah. to match um, and and Sorg you also haven't been doing televised wrestling for yeah. oh, let's say nine ten years I'm also giving up. I'm also giving up. I'm also probably splitting uh, several ways uh, what like one videographer gets for this night uh, mm-hmm. so. I mean, there's that too. Actually, the videographer probably gets a lot more than even what we're splitting for indie wrestling, uh, to be quite honest. Um, this, this is for television, guys, which and really so kind of goes to you show. You aren't even listening to the commentary. No, no. Oh, so, anyways, that's enough of that. Let's get happy. Can we get happy? Can we get... Um, can Please. we get back along well, if you feel like an impact without a home? Because no. I'm guys, happy. No. I don't, Stop I don't, it. Stop, stop, stop. Wow. Stop it. Wow. No, 
We're gonna have a takedown and notice I'm from like, that. No. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Um, well, that's just mean, everyone. <laughs> no, Bru- no, Bruno Mars is mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even him. That's that's it's not the even Bruno guys. Mars. Yeah, reel it in. Reel it in. He is right, Bruno. Nice try, Bruno it Mar- is Bruno time. Mar- is, He's right. Who sings that song? I don't for, even know. Guys, it is, guys, it is time Bruno. for the thought oh, experiment even... that has been sweeping the nation, the Mayhem Nation. We got Matt Carlin's on here, ready to roll. He's got the board set up. He's he and we have put him to sleep thanks to Impact Happy. Matt, we're done talking about sleep. Impact Wrestling. I don't want to just put on my TV. I don't want Oh my god. Oh, oh Matt, Matt, go. Matt, it's it's your turn. This is your cue. Yeah, yeah guys, I just had I the s- worst stream. Hmm. I dreamt Mr. Anderson came back to TNA. You mean this <laughs> YouTube dream, Matt Carlins? That's so weird. It's a deja vu. <laughs> Someone's yeah. changed the matrix. Um, what's up? So were, were we all there? <laughs> and you were there, Riz. And Yay. you were there, Matt Mike. And you were there, LB. Except you were a lion and a cowardly lion and a tin man and a scarecrow. And I'll let you guys sort that out. Oh, oh, wow. Toto. <laughs> so explain to us what's going on with the Mayhem Mania, Matt Carlin's, uh, and yes, where do we welcome stand? Welcome to Mayhem Mania, where um, it's kind of a competitive thought experiment where we book the best WrestleMania. Uh, Card possible using only wit and shenanigans. Um, I was scared there for a minute. Oh, we have an assistant <laughs> this week. Welcome to White of Mayhem Mania. My, my sick five-year-old child. Oh. Before we are last week, I've got exciting news before we get started. Let's take a look at the card, and then we'll tell everyone how they can use their one move. Because, Sorg, you're going to get firsties this week. Oh, jeez. Oh, we can have it in a second here, buddy. All right. The card as it stands right now. The Miz versus Damian Mizdow. Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt, Battle of the Entrances. Charlotte versus Paige. Um, the LB special refereeing this one. John Cena versus Roman Reigns versus Triple H. Gold versus Stardust. Bobby, it's like you came from the future. Dolph Ziggler versus Daniel Bryan. <laughs> a four-way tag team match. LB, we, we Usos, made a mess of this. <laughs> Usos versus Tyson Kidd and Cesaro versus wow, the Big amazing, Show and Kane wow. versus Seth Rollins and yeah, Dean Ambrose. Don't ask me how they're going to book that. This is just amazing right now. I leave and for finally, only. Rusev versus <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Now, We've been experimenting with an idea of like how we would open up more room on this card as we moved along. So I've decided that if a match can survive three rounds without being tampered with, it will graduate into permanence. It will okay, it will ascend. So to speak. that's right, Junior. So in case you weren't keeping score, the Miz versus Damian Mizdow has been on this board since round one. So guess what? It will. It will ascend. Ascending. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Take that with you. That was, yeah, that was some good turn. prop work. Slot there was on the Mayhem Mania board, and Sorg, since you're the one who created the Miz versus Damian Mizdow, you get to create a new match oh, for no. Mayhem Mania for your buddies to tamper with. Next. That's what you We're do. all oh. going to tamper with that match. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I can't wait till someone adds a primetime player to a tag team match. God damn it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for telling me. Good night, everybody. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Sorry, I know you're having some audio trouble there, but let's uh, look at this. Please try to tell me what your match is going to be. All right, so here we are. I'm looking at this. Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to break this down a little bit. Um, and I think. I think I'm just going to make. I'm going to make a small move. Okay, I want to make a small make move. A you have to make your match. Sword. Oh, I have sword. to make a full match. I have to make a full match. You don't no, have to. I'll tell you what. You this is what I'll want. let you do. Here's what I'll let you do, Sork. If you are too afraid to create an entirely new match, you can just make a change to the seven matches that are left, and I will I will pass it along like extra minutes in Congress to the next person in the uh, batting order. Jeez, so who's if you left? Want to make a change? Just make a change. Who's important? That's left. Oh, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Here's what we we'll do. Um, Luke Harper and and uh, and Luke Harper and that other guy haven't been used, right? 
Um, blue pants? Blue, yeah, Luke Harper versus Blue Pants. Let's do that. Okay. No, 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 no. No, That's, no, we can't do that. No, uh, Why not? You That'd can awesome. start. Why don't you write down Luke Harper? I'm definitely using Luke Harper, and we're going to have him. I, I I don't think I want to do a uh, a Rowan kind of blow off. You, I, I think I think we're past that. Oh, oh, we, well, he has some input. Okay, okay. Um, I'm sorry, I, my earbud fell out. I didn't that's okay. That. That's okay. Um, give me Luke Harper. Give me Luke Harper and um. Jeez, who's ripping it up lately? Who's who's been surprising lately? Who haven't we used from NXT? Ripping in the Terran. <laughs> ripping in the Terran. Oh, didn't we? Clanging and banging. You know what? Give me uh, Luke Harper. Oh, it's a super dog. <laughs> <laughs> the is thinking. Uh, give me uh, Luke super Harper dog. against. Give me Luke Harper against uh, Sami Zayn. Okay, good. Sami Zayn's back on the screen because I, I, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think that works. I think they do, they pull together a tremendous match. You can build. Sounds good to me. Like now, Alex, in case you're not familiar, you can get one of three options for your change that you can make to this card. You can swap one guy for one guy or one tag team for one tag team on here, even though we only have one tag team right now. You can add a wrestler who isn't on this card to an existing match, add him to a team, add him as an extra competitor, create a handicap match, whatever. Or you can just trade out one entire match and bring in something entirely new. What's it going to be? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, I want to I want to preface this by saying what I almost did. That's part of the reason I wanted to be on here. Uh, you know that Miz versus Miz Dow match. Mm -hmm. If you guys hadn't already moved it to the super card, it was this close? This close. That's for the audio listeners. That's about a quarter of an inch to adding a uh, Miz Swoggle. To that, man, I triple that. Oh, oh, good job. We missed that. Be part. thankful. But that didn't happen. I would have hurt you. So <laughs> now I'm kind of stuck. Now I'm kind of left with two options here. I can either trade out a match and make WLC two, <laughs> or what? I can add El Torito and Hornswoggle to the tag oh. team match. Oh no! Oh, I'm weighing my options. Here. I know which way I'm leaning on this. I want a real quick consensus. No, th this is your pick, Cars. This is no, your this pick. Is you. This is whatever There's you no think is good. democracy in Mayhem Mania. Right. It's a it's a Karns or whatever. It's a temporary dictatorship. That's <laughs> funny. Because... You've been handed the pencil, sir. <laughs> you got the book. Oh no. All right. All right. Um. Uh, you know, they did TLC 2 at a WrestleMania, <laughs> and it was a good match. But I'm not sure if WLC 2 could live up to that. So I think I'm going to have no choice. Oh, wait. I see I see somebody with a little carousel squatting <laughs> it. My only question is, what match do I drop? Oh... Let's drop. This is probably going to get some heat from the boys in the back. I'm going to. So let's drop. Let's br let's drop Charlotte versus Paige. God oh, damn you! Wow. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, no. Rick. I'm not, uh, I'm, not yes. sure. I'm not sure how to think of, uh, how to take that. No. Jesus. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, Everybody no, 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 no. You said it. Oh, you, you said it. Now. 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 No, you did it. Did it work, man? You did that. It's done, my friend. I'm done. Fighting that. I am fighting that decision all the way. No, I couldn't. I couldn't take back mine when I put in Brock Lesnar. So fuck you. You do. Oh, I really hope. I really hope. That was one week away from graduation. Wow. One week. Wow, it was. It was one week away. Oh, that's, so we're, that's we what you get for taking away. Is that what's happening? No, 
I'm saying. Yes. What, what else is yes. there? What about this? That's, That's what he said. Facing Paige and Charlotte or whatever the fuck with We L C two. That's tremendous. Okay, I'll be your up. Oh God <laughs> Almighty! I, I mine's easy. It's going to be real Sorry. quick. Just one and done. I've been wanting to do this since <laughs> I since before last week when I was on. Uh, take out Brock Lesnar. Add in The Rock. Let's make that the biggest shit show. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't mean that. You don't mean. You mean. You, don't you mean, mean Triple H. You mean Triple H. You don't mean Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's fighting Rusev. Who the fuck changed that? <laughs> Oh no! no. You no, never put no, in. No, I see. I see. I see. What you you're never put in Lesnar. I you see what you're Triple saying. H. Yeah, take out Triple H. Put in the Rock. I you're right. Take out Triple H. I take out Triple H. Put in the Rock. Oh my god! <laughs> this, 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 somehow we have to make all three of them. Like, oh. This. I, I this want that to be you. the worst match. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had wow. <laughs> wow. Eamon, it's your turn. I see okay. you considering. I, I got to right some wrongs. And I, and Eamon, I'm sorry, <laughs> do it. I'm please, sorry Alex. Please. But, but this was literally. Please bring it back. I We've made some plays in this before, and that was. Oh, boy. Um, so that I'm, was the Lanny Poffo, I guess. I, I'm, you I'm do taking, it. I'm you taking, do a, I'm taking yeah. out We LC, too. And I'm doing, uh, uh, this time, Charlotte versus Sasha Banks. Ooh. Wow. Nice. I love this, like fighting over this one slot. I'm sorry, I, I, I was, I wasn't gonna touch that. That wasn't my plan to begin it's, with, actually. But it's, it's over between us, Amen. I'm sorry, <laughs> I, that was, I couldn't let that stand. Amen. I really couldn't. Amen. For another like, indie wrestling. I like just yeah. dancing, kid in the corner, and now he stops. <laughs> and now he's dancing again. again. Yeah, oh man, you guys need. I know you guys are hearing it on the audio when he's unmuted, but you gotta check out the video of this part. <laughs> um. Okay, who's next? This right. is All right. Riz. I'm next. All yes. right. All right. You're you're uh next to finishing this off. If I can find your video feed. Hi, Sorg. Hi. Hi. I can't you find, find you. There you are. There you are. Yeah, oh, you got close. Holly, That's why. Riz. Okay. Yeah, All right, I there you are. Holly. He's retired. He is yeah, That's sad. Um, let me see here. But hey, it didn't stop us with Shawn Michaels and Rick Flair, so there you go. Uh <laughs> and um, let me see. Since we took out Triple H, Triple H versus Sting. Well, I can't do that because I'd take something out, and I'm not. You know what, Sorg? I'm sorry. Take out Harper and Zayn. Put in Triple H versus Sting. What? Oh. Wow. <laughs> really? We're gonna. We're gonna this ruin is this is No, I was mind. making the worst match. I no, was. <laughs> I am. I am now. Oh, right all right. 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 We're all feeling my right. turn now. Yes, I totally agree. Did you say Waba Fett? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He's saying Royal Rumble. Can we book Pokemon in this? <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon. Okay. Oh, the God. Pokemons. Really All the Pokemons. All right, number six, Bobby F. J. Town. You have a pick. You get the last pick, Bobby. You get the last I know, pick. I was gonna you get to clean hard, this Bobby. up a little bit. Give me I was going to change want. that match that Riz just changed, but... um. <laughs> Ah. All right, take out. I'm sorry to do this. Take out Dolph Ziggler. What? No, no, that match was gonna graduate. Oh, was wait. it? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. no, no, don't let him fucking no, influence no, no. Bobby. You do what I'm you out. want. He said it. He said it. Bobby. Okay, take out, take out Dolph Ziggler. Sure, man, he didn't Bobby. take your move. He did not oh, take wow. your move. Take out Dolph Ziggler and add Who? in Dolph Ziggler. Hideo Tommy. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, I would I want to see Dan Bryan versus Hideo Tommy. I made that match and it's gonna graduate. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, how's it feel, Eamon? <laughs> yeah, you suck. How's it feel? I'm not convinced that uh what well, well whatever. I'm convinced that's been as long as it's been. Bye bye guys. I think he's done. Um guys. We still have that four-way tag match. I know. We do. I we was do. gonna do something oh, else, but somebody spoiled it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Before before Mike spoiled it, my original yeah. plan was to do primetime players. Me so too. My, 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 sec my second plan after that was to just do Darren Young and the guy that he came to cut her off. Random guy from Las Vegas. It was a revenge match. 
<laughs> All right, on that note, please follow along. Mainstream Matt one tblogspotcom for all he'll make sense of this and visual uh visual nature. So, do you want me to recap the card for yes, everybody? What do we have for the audio listeners right now after this? Well hey Matt, can I make one suggestion? For that sting match, can I have eighty sting? No, can I have eighty face paint sting? You it's don't get like to pick the palette. No. You mean the, this the, sting? The, the, the 80s, early 90s sting. Oh, 80s? A man called sting? Yeah, the man called sting. I want that one. I don't remember sting looking like this at all. Anyways. Jesus almighty. This is, this is depressing. This is <laughs> rough. Hey, let's give it up for uh, the Mrs. with Damien Mizdow. That's on the card for good. Um, yeah. Triple H versus sting. Finn Man, Balor so. versus Bray Wyatt. Charlotte versus Sasha Banks. Somehow that Why? worked out. John Cena versus Roman Reigns versus The Rock. <laughs> Gold <laughs> Dust Don't versus Stardust. <laughs> Hideo and Tommy versus Daniel Bryan. It's okay. I know which match you really wanted here. We'll just call them by their names. It's all right. <laughs> oh. The Usos versus Kid and Cesaro versus The Big Show and Kane versus Rollins and Ambrose. And Rusev versus Brock Lesnar. Next week, we add the J&J security team. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Hey, uh, Matt Collins, I have a question. This is more for logistic. Can we add a special referee to a match? I feel like that's something we should put up to the uh, a vote of the uh, of the panel. If the panel thinks like it's okay, I feel if the like panel would... thinks it's okay, then yes, next week I will start to allow you to insert special guest but referees as your move. If we start I feel like inserting special referees. I think yeah, we should have step. one round, one particular week, probably towards the end, where we pick stipulations and special referees. Each person gets to pick okay. one for one match. Okay. Yes. I think that's, yeah, that's, that's uh, what... a strong possibility that's in play. And I also want to let everyone know, as if you need another reason to be a Patreon subscriber, uh, special privileges will be granted to the Patreon subscribers on the eve of this card being basically oh. locked down. Oh, my so. God. Are you... The Patreon in the bank? The Patreon's <laughs> in the bank. That's right. I want to add a special uh, the Ascension as a special guest referee that tag match. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say, I gotta Bobby, say, do they, Bobby, do they have to rise up? Do they have to rise up and down when they? They don't count get to fight fight? for the titles. They just came here. You have to ref it. Wow. Uh, you know, I was you know I, until I realized I had to put a match in, I almost just threw the Ascension in that four way, <laughs> just for Matt. <laughs> I I think that I think that tag match eventually has to be a tag battle royal for the uh, it's, it's getting there Andre the Giant it's the getting there man the all right Andre the Giant Memorial on that note oh Andre the Memorial I hope that comes back to be honest um, it's Andre the Giant it will I hope so <laughs> he's, a, he's a giant <laughs> nice, Bobby. He's, a, he's a giant thank you, thank you. Who's, who's, or as the team, whose name or TNA Andre. would call or as TNA call, would call a tag team gauntlet. There you go. All right, guys, let me know. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? Nobody wants to go first. I'll go, no. first. I'll go first. I'll go first. All right, Matt, what'd you learn? Rest. Me, me, I got one. Oh, I'm going to go first. <laughs> well, there you go. What did Mason Don't learn that. from wrestling this week? Mason, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Miss is one of my mom. There you go. Yep. Yeah. What do you mean? I think we can all agree with that. Um, that is Royal Rumble. <laughs> I learned. I learned. <laughs> bell means stop. That's what I learned from wrestling. This yeah. means bell means stop. Bell means stop. <laughs> yes, that's what I learned from wrestling. All right, Eamon, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Oh Jesus Christ! Um, I, I every had week. Uh, forgot every about it. Every week, Sorry. I learned that um, Paige only carries around one set of clothing. That's her wrestling gear. Oh yes. <laughs> But yeah. Yes. What about you, DJ Lunchbox? Uh, I learned that uh, it is legally binding when someone signs a contract. Signs all as long as the pen is touching some part of their body and is moving, they have signed the contract. Right. Legally binding. (laughs) Right. Right. Of course. I thought we were gonna have an expert on that. I practiced that sometime. Uh, That didn't work out. Didn't work out. Uh, Mad Mike. What about you? 
Well, I learned this week that um, I just want Kurt Angle to retire in WWE. Just, just, just leave, do it now and get it over with. Yeah, kind of, kind of want that. Uh, what about you, Riz? Shit. Um... <laughs> Riz, every week. You know this is coming. I know this is coming. Riz did not see this coming. Uh, nope. <laughs> no. I did not see this coming. Uh, come back to me, Sork. Riz is the guy that's surprised every week when they form the Thunderzord in the uh, uh, Power Rangers. Our, yes! our, our, boss, our boss, Tony O'Garza, learned that Darren Young got scared straight when the Ascension came out. Oh, 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 wow. His words, not mine. It's the wow. boss. I have to say it. Alex, speaking... No, I'm not going to make a segue into this. Alex Carr's in California. What did you learn? Well, actually, speaking of Darren Young, oh, I learned no. that uh, they're allowed to literally bring anyone into a wrestling match. And it's the first t- honestly, though, that was the first time I've ever seen a tag match where it was just one person that was the jobber. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was I'm weird. just saying, like, one person on that tag team was the jobber. He didn't even have a name. Mm-hmm. No. He was <laughs> Darren's partner. That's the important thing. You know, <laughs> Riz, how uh, does NXT get a name? Riz, how you doing? I'm doing good, Sorg. How you doing? Good. Do you have anything for me yet? Um, I learned that when when it comes down to it, if if they asked me who I would have in a remake of Fifty Shades of Grey, there's only one answer: the Great Collie. Oh, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Bobby, please please bring this up. Uh, Punjabi prison. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Punjabi playroom. Oh, Where he keeps the Xbox. <laughs> That's amazing. Sword. Sword. No, Bobby, I want to know what I Bobby learned. Bobby. Um, I learned that... I do not have a favorite wrestler right now in WWE, but I damn sure as hell have a favorite wrestler in NXT, and that man is Finn Balor. Or Balor. I don't know Balor. how to pronounce his name, but he's my favorite Balor. wrestler right now. I have his t-shirt. You do? Okay. That, yeah. yeah, I do. Oh. Uh, we, yeah. Wheels also learned that Sanjay Dutt worked for DNA this past weekend. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. And he'll be there uh, this Saturday at RWA, uh, rwalive.com for details on that. West Newton, PA, DVD Ding. coming soon to PittsburghWrestling.com. Anyways, uh, I learned, I learned uh, uh, one that apparently the the uh, Rosebuds just wandered the halls without their leader. Um, and also, oh, Mia Yim also was part of that. Yeah, Mia Yim. Oh. And always, Blue Pants. Always good to see her on there. What? Mia Yim. And Blue Pants. Oh, Blue Pants was on there too. Cool. Yeah. Blue, Blue Pants, Pants was the one who, yeah, who, who Paige took her outfit from. Of course. Eamon, what was her name again? Leva Bates. Leva Bates. There we go. See, you're learning, 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 guys. You're, you're learning. learning. We were looking at her cosplay actually on on, her, on the website. She doesn't just do Kitty Pride for like from NXT. Anyways, the thing I learned actually was, uh, hey, ladies, chain wrestling within a mixed tag. Ladies yeah. mattering in a mixed tag. Good stuff. That was that was tremendous. That was that's a little bit of the hey, we're gonna do some shit here and show up the NXT thing with the time that we were given. And I think they did a really good job. So guys, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you everybody in the chat room live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com, including Tonio Garza, our Patreon. Uh wait, did you you just try to roll your R's, Sorg? No, I don't even try. I know it. Antonio Garza. The other reason I took French because I can't roll my R's. Why am I the only one on the fucking show that can roll my R's? I can roll my R's. Mexicans on the show. Alberto Del Rio. Juggalo John and uh, Wheels in there as well. You can join us as well at live.sorgatronmedia.com every Tuesday about 9 p.m. Eastern time through midnight uh, through the Indie Mayhem Show and all that kind of stuff. Uh, You can join us at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can subscribe to everything. Please rate us on iTunes. Subscribe to us on on uh, on uh, YouTube, we got so much going on. We got the Mayhem Minute is the newest thing uh, where I uh, four days a week I check in with the latest news and conversation on what's going on. Uh, today I talked about Wrestle Jump, this wonderful game for your iPhone that I'm now addicted to. Uh, we talked about John Cena's sex scene last week. NXT yeah. Takeover uh, uh, rivals last last week and a, a, a you know a reaction to that. The Darren. Sp- Darren Young controversy over him speaking out on uh, t- on Twitter over the uh, uh, United Arab Abu Dhabi 
um, uh, visit for WWE last week and homosexuality. <gasps> I said that on a podcast. Um, and no, I do not have. Listen, Mo Black on Google Plus. I do not have Seth Rollins' pictures that were leaked last week. I'm so sorry oh about that. God. You're just. I'm just. You know. Just <laughs> sore mode. Yes. Um, <laughs> at Mayhem Show on Twitter, Whenever Facebook, about Seth Google Rollins, Plus, sorry, the what, Facebook group, of course. Drop us a line. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS0. Thank you, Mike Allen at Mike Allen PR. Doing our show notes all night long. Helping us out with the tweets as well. And uh, with that, thank you, everybody that was on here. See if I can get this right. I'm at Sorgatron. We have at the E Riz, at DJ Launchbox, at Bobby F. J. Town, at Amen 2, please, at Power to Smarks. Wait, Power to. Damn it. I'm sorry. To the Smarks. Power to, to the, the Smarks. The smarks. Um, on Twitter, uh, as well as Mad Mike four eight eight three and at Mainstream Matt one T on there, and everybody else sorry, that contributed. Sorry, sorry. What? What? Can I plug something real quick? Oh yeah, plugs. What do you got? What do you got, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, Panel Riot is back this week, and to celebrate the new amazing Marvel news that has come out, you heard it. We're not talking about it, but we are reading a lot of Spider Man this week. Uh, check it out, PanelRiot.com or in your podcast feed now there it is and also check out the great and you got a featured up there the boxcar beautician himself sawtooth willie uh birchett on there uh it's a great video that we premiered and we'll be having five more episodes coming out every monday at sorgatronmedia.com as well subscribe that looks familiar subscribe he looks out. a little familiar a little bit i think i, I see don't him on the i can't really i don't like, like amen no mm. because you're not in pittsburgh that guy that guy that guy's a legend in Pittsburgh. He wants he pokes, he pokes his head up out of manhole covers from time to time. He mm-hmm. once abducted me like uh, the Phantom of the Opera. Okay, <laughs> with that note, we'll see you guys next time. Day. Mayhem out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.